Hey, what's up guys, Cotton here, and today the Xylander update dropped on Heroes and Generals. That means less fog, more credits, and the new Soviet assault rifle, the AVS-36. This rifle was introduced to combat the STG and the M1M2 rifles, and it will cost around 208,000 credits or 2,500 gold, weighing in at 7 inventory slots. You will need your Soviet Infantry Assault Ribbon maxed out at level 12 to unlock this weapon. I recommend grinding with a stock bolt action rifle aiming for damage over distance as well as headshots. The semi-automatic rifle will also get you there but not as quickly as the bolt action. The AVS while only packing a 15 round box mag is capable of a 3 shot kill using just upgraded ammunition. The stock rate of fire is 600 with the option to increase to 720, although the small magazine size and the already existing stability problems just don't make increasing the rate of fire a very viable build right now, but I am going to test that in the part 2 of this video. The modding is a bit limited at the moment with only one mod for each category, aside from an assortment of ammunition. The barrel will add range, the trigger and the internal will add rate of fire. The weapon can be equipped with the Soviet 3.5 zoom T-Post as well. So you can scope it if you need, I'll also be testing that in part 2 of the next video. The gun handles fairly well, the recoil is manageable by pulling the mouse back when firing. Equipping the Deadeye badge is recommended to really help steady the gun out for smoother aiming. Tight grip is not required here as recoil doesn't seem to be the problem but more of a movement sway. The hip fire is similar to the STG being it has a large spread rate than most, but it's still it's quite effective at close ranges. The AVS also has a select fire for full and semi-automatic firing. Semi-auto is recommended for anything over 150 meters. And anything over 250 meters, you're going to need a scope because the iron sights are actually kind of small on the weapon. All in all, I really like the AVS. It has great killing power as a three-shot assault rifle. It excels in close range as well as medium range. Just be careful of that small box magazine. Possibly consider the fast reload badge if you tend to spray a lot or you suffer from the Call of Duty syndrome like I do where I reload after every bullet. Stay tuned next week guys, I'm going to do a part 2 on the video, like I said, we're going to test the scope, we're going to test the rates of fire on it, but I really hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.